I was lying in my bed at nine o'clock when my alarm gave out an eerie shock. I'd been waiting all day and through the night, and finally, to my delight, they did the nine at nine. It made me lose my mind. A thrill for Frankenstein. They did the nine at nine. All right, let's okay. start uh, with number nine. Uh, the planet Earth saw its hottest day ever this week. This is about the average global temperature. From the northwest U.S. to Mexico to Europe, it's been very hot. With that in mind, how about we rattle off some of Johnny Carson's old jokes? Mike, you want to do the honors? Okay, I mean, sure. I mean, Mike, how hot is it? Well, I don't do a great uh, Johnny, but uh, Pat, you know what? It was so hot that Burger King was singing, if you want it your way, Cook it yourself. <laughs> oh. It was so hot I saw a robin dipping his worm in nest tea. <laughs> it's so hot Jehovah's Witnesses started telemarketing. <laughs> you correct. How many more of these do we have? It's so hot. I saw a dog chasing a cat, and they were both walking. <laughs> well, everybody know Mike wrote all of these. No, no, too. no. He didn't. <laughs> I, I think these are real. Some of these I remember. Yeah. yeah. It's so hot. Uh, Cows are giving evaporated milk. <laughs> it's so hot. I saw a squirrel roasting his nuts on the sidewalk. <laughs> oh, you did too. Didn't oh. you? Yeah, I did. It's so hot. Siri just asked me to put her in the fridge. Now, we know Carson didn't write that one. It's so hot, the Statue of Liberty was asked to lower her arm. <laughs> oh. All right, that was well done. Fun. All right, uh, let's move on to number eight. This one's for all the single folks out there. Okay, so here's the question. Do you lose interest in someone when you find out that they like you back? If so, dating scientists say this could have something to do with your attachment style. People with avoidant, anxious, or disorganized attachment styles may flee from a potential partner when things get real. Turns out your attachment style has a lot to do with your upbringing. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> This is according to attachment style experts. When someone, when some folks learn that their crush likes them back, they may think, I achieved this great thing, so what's uh, next? So that explains why gotcha. so many people are single and alone and are going to die alone. And yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. Mm. All right, number seven. Maybe you have a wacky uncle or an old high school friend who keeps posting things about how wind turbines are harming whales. Yes, this is one of the latest things floating around that is completely untrue. There is no evidence at all that wind turbines are killing whales, but this seems to have started in March when a guy who goes by Brent Alexander posted this photo in a caption, 23 whales dead with only two wind turbines in place. Since 2016, there have been an unusual number of whales that have died on the East Coast, but the Marine Mammal Commission notes that about half of the whales died because of human interaction, which usually means they were hit by a ship's propeller. Hmm. And also, the photo of the guy used in the original post, it's of two whales that beached themselves in England in 2016. Again, no evidence at all that these things are killing whales. Hmm. Nice. Stay off the internet. All right, number six, in the mid-1700s, Benjamin Franklin lived in London at 36 Craven Street. He lived in the home for about 20 years, and in 1776, once the Declaration of Independence was signed, Ben moved back to the United States. 200 years later, 36 Craven Street was set to become a museum. Conservationists started digging around the home, and they found human remains. Mm, a lot of secret? human remains. Uh -oh. Forensic investigators found pieces of bones from more than 12 bodies in a small pit underneath the home. Investigators said the bones dated back to Ben Franklin's days. The explanation, there was an anatomy school run from the house by a relative mm -hmm. of Ben Franklin's landlady. Likely uh -huh. story. Okay. Wow, that's, you got to get that one, Larry. Yeah, that's have a good one for one? you serial killers to remember. Yeah. They have a cop show up at your door. He's like, I'm yeah. just doing research. Yeah, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, number five, sometimes we come across something that's beautiful, that's a real moment, like this Christian Siriano wow. pink ball wow, gown. Wow, is right. As worn by Alicia Silverstone. The photos were taken at an estate in Lake Como, Italy, by the way. 
Uh, Elisa Silverstone is Siriano's muse. I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't. Siriano, know that. you knew yeah, that, Paul. Sure. You were in the dark. They've been yeah. friends forever, and he loves having her model some of his favorite designs. The dress is actually made of two parts. Okay. Uh, mm. A strapless, ruffled a bodice on top. To me, that's what makes it. Yeah. And a fluffy, frilly A line skirt on the bottom, which to me is a bit much, but again, yeah. the top makes up for it. Yeah. As for the price, well, if you have to ask, right. you can't afford it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's lovely. Where did you get that dress? <laughs> Oof, okay. Number four here, there's a new term to describe the ways in which Americans hate to work. So you've heard by now of quiet quitting. That's when workers keep their jobs but refuse to go above and beyond. Well, now workers are grumpy staying. This is when workers dislike their jobs but begrudgingly keep their jobs in a tightening job market. Uh, uh, anybody here? Have you guys heard of this? Grumpy yeah, staying? Yeah, I think we've think been practicing that for the last 12 years. <laughs> To be honest, <laughs> grumpy stain. Grumpy stain. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah I've okay. seen it. We can relate. Yep. All right, number three. I don't have to tell you guys this, but uh, it's good to put out a reminder that I am a fashion icon. Yes. I'm the chief fashion correspondent on this show, and I have some breaking fashion news for all of you. Daisy Dudes. Oh, it's mm. about time. Yep. Look at these things. I think we have peaked as a society right here. It's all downhill from here. These uh, shorts are the pinnacle of human fashion. Mm -hmm. Twitter's got mixed feelings about them. I Twitter can go to hell. Yeah, they can. <laughs> Look at those things. Do you wear those with a belt? Or? Uh, no, no, not no necessary. Belt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, now you can tune in next week. We're going to see uh, Larry. I sent some of them to your house. Good. They should be there any day. Yeah. Well, I used to play uh, high school basketball wearing yeah. those things. Yeah. So I'm used to it. The weekend well, he's cutting and... off the sleeves of his shirts. Why not the legs of his yeah. pants, yeah. right? Yeah. It's a lot easier to get in and out of them. <laughs> yeah. Less to wash, also. <laughs> Uh, number two, do you do nothing? Well, you're not alone. Turns out animals spend a lot of time doing nothing. That's because animals have a lot of downtime. Even the ones we might think are super busy. One animal scientist wrote, if you look at a colony of ants or bees or any social insect, really, maybe a little bit less than half of them are just standing around doing what looks like nothing. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right, number one already. Can you believe it? There's a good Twitter feed called uh, Scarred for Life that posts weird and dark pop culture stuff from the past. He especially likes the old PSAs from England. He says they're like horror films condensed into 30 second chunks and shown during the children's TV shows. Oh, here is a greatest hits with some music under it. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh no. Let's go. Oh boy. He walks fairly down the street with the brim full way down. This is great. You gotta be careful. With the sound of speed, machine guns ready to go. Are you ready? Hey, are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Oh. Man, they were really concerned about electrocution. Yeah, yeah. that must have been a big deal then. Another one bites the dust. Oh no. And careless walking. Oh. Yeah, I, what, yeah. <laughs> what is that for? Another one bites the dust. Hey. Oh. Oh boy. Another one bites the dust. Throwing rocks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh no. Oh, I don't want to see this. Oh, now I can. Uh oh. Right. What are some of the simple things that you wouldn't think you would yeah. cover? Oh. Oh, they really gave uh -huh. me all of them there. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Kids, don't go out of the house. Ever. That's the nine and nine. They did the nine at 